Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Can we extract all the sheet names or check if sheet is exist in Excel file without even opening it? We are going to check in this video. In this series of ADO connection, so far we discuss about how we can fetch data and how we can update existing data in Excel file without even opening it. And in today's video, we'll discuss how we can fetch sheet names from Excel file without even opening it. So stay tuned and we'll jump into this video. So we are going to utilize same macro file which we have used in our couple of previous last videos. If you haven't watched these videos, I would recommend to check them out. I will provide the link in the description box. So let's go to the Visual Basic Editor. Use the shortcut key Alt plus F11. So this is the code we return in our last previous video, right? So let's take a copy of this code. And we'll paste in the same module down here. And we'll rename this to Fetch Sheet Names from Excel file. Now we'll review the each code at a time here. Right, so what we are going to do, so we are going to extract the sheet names from the closed Excel file, right? And those Excel file names will populate in this file in column A. So let's rename this. And we no need this data here. So let's remove this data. So we are going to populate sheet names in column A here. So as a part of first step, let's clear the existing data, if any, in column A. So we'll go back to the Visual Basic Editor. So here, in step 1, we'll remove the existing data. So this line will clear the existing data by skipping the header cell. So that's why I have used offset as one row. Right? Then next, we'll define the file path here. So here we no need of the sheet name. So we are just extracting the metadata from the Excel file. right? So we can delete this and we can delete this value also. So let's take a copy of the file path. So we'll go to the folder. So this is the source file from which we are going to extract the sheet names. So let's copy this as a path. Go back and we'll paste it here. Now as a part of next step, so let's initialize the connection here. So we are going to use the exact same connection string. So I will provide this connection string in description box. This will open the connection to the Excel file. Then next, so here we are not going to run any SQL query, right? So as we are not fetching any data from the Excel file. So no need of running this SQL query. So we can remove this line from this code. Then next we have to open the schema using record set. The metadata of our Excel file or the external source the metadata will be stored in the schemas. So that's why we have to open the schema here. So no need of this I as integer here. And no need to initialize this record set like this. And no need to open any record set here like this. So how we can open the schema and how we can store that schema data in record set. So for that we have to use the set keyword. Then next we have to use our connection object which is the con dot open schema. So this is the uh, property you have to use here and open bracket and from here you have to select add schema tables. So this is the schema will hold the metadata of our Excel file. So let's select that and press enter. I will show you in a moment that what type of data will be stored in the record set when we run this code in a debug mode. Right. So let's go to the next step here. As a part of next step, we have to loop through the record set and write the sheet names in the Excel file. And write the sheet name to Excel file. Right? So how we are going to do? So we can delete this. Then next, we'll create the variable name here, then i as integer. And we'll initialize the i value as 2. 
because we are going to populate sheet name starting from second row here right so that's why i initialize the i value as two here then next we have to loop through the records in the record set so how we can loop so using a do until we loop here do until rs dot eof so end of record so it will look until it's reached to the last record right then next we can populate the sheet name in the excel file so how we are going to do so sheet one so this is our code name of our sheet dot range and i dot value equal to rs dot fields in bracket you have to enter table underscore name so i will show you where you can find this name in record set when we run this code in a debug mode so for now let's select dot value so this will give you the sheet name and it will get stored and it will get populate in this cell right so then next we have to increment our i value so i equal to i plus one then next we have to move to the next record in our record set so we can use rs dot move next right so then next so we are not going to copy any data right from the record set so that's why we can remove this line from this code then next we can close the record set using a rs dot close and once it's done we can give it a message as all sheet name successfully extracted so we can give this name so we are done with the code let's check if we have any error in this code or not so go to the debug menu and click on compile vba project so there is no error in our code so next before we run this code let's add some sheets in our source file right so let's open the source file from the folder now you can see this source file has just one sheet here right so let's add some couple of sheets to this excel file so i added four and five sheets here and we'll rename this right so we added total around five sheets to this excel file so let's save this and we can close this then we'll go back to the visual basic editor so instead of running this code in one go will run this code in a debug mode so that we can see what type of data is going to stored in this record set right so and to run the code in a debug mode you can use the keyboard shortcut as f8 so this is step will clear the existing data now this will store the file path then this step will open the connection to this file then next it will open the schema table and the data will get stored in record set so let's run this step also now we'll hold it here and to see the data what type of data is hold by this record set object you can go to the view menu and select local window from here right it will show you what are all objects you have in this runtime code so all those objects will reflect here and what type of data is stored by that object that information also will show up here so here is our record set right so let's expand this then next you have to go into the field section here so this is our field section expand this field section also under this you will have the information regarding your metadata of your excel file and each item contains the specific metadata information right so if i expand this item one this information is all about table catalog right and if i expand the second item this is about table scheme so each metadata information will be stored in each items here and we are looking for the table name so if you expand this item three then you will have the field name as a table name here right and if you see the value of this table it's a my fifth sheet here so this is the first record which you are seeing in this record set and when we do a loop that time this value will get changed based on the loop so you are just seeing the first record here in the memory so that's why we have selected here as fields of this name and this value you can see this is the exactly we have written here so the field and the table name comes from here and the value comes from here 
right i hope you understand this uh, local window how the data will be stored in the object memory right so let's close this local window from here and we'll make this small to see how the sheet names are populating in excel file so let's run this step and you can see this one will extract the field name and this line will populate the value in the excel file so let's run this step you can see that value was populated here then it will move to the next record next it will populate that name also so we'll run this code step by step you can see in the excel file how the sheet names are getting populated here and once this loop is end so it will close the record set then it will give you the message as all sheet name successfully extracted then it will close the connection here now let's add some more sheets to the source file we go to the source file open this now it had a sheet 5 sheet 6 so we added two more sheets to the source file close this we'll go to the visual basic editor and we'll run this code in one go so you can use the keyboard shortcut as F5 to run this code. Now you can see how quickly it extracted all the sheet names from the closed Excel file. So you just click on OK. You can see all our sheet names got populated here. And that's it. We have just learned how to extract all sheet names from a closed Excel file using ADO in Excel, which is a fast, lightweight, and without even opening it. If this saved your time, taught you something new, Give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more Excel automation tips. If you got any questions or idea for the next video, please drop them in the comments. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.